we're going to talk a little bit about stabilization efforts in the Sahel region at large. Um, Delina, I will start with you. You just uh, authored a new report for the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung on stabilization efforts. Um, and we talk a lot about stabilization, European efforts to stabilize the Sahel. Could you just develop that a little bit? Are we stabilizing the Sahel? Thank you, Nina, for the question, and uh, welcome, everyone. Um, I think uh, the, the, Sahel, the, the new Sahel strategy is a 2021 uh, document that mentions the word stabilization, or friends of it, unstable, stabilizing, about 20 times. Um, but then is the European Union truly stabilizing in the Sahel? Um, with this report, we wanted to analyze um, what stabiliz European stabilization efforts look like in the Sahel from the region and specifically from Niger. Um, and the main idea behind this new European stabilization is one of shifting the burden of fighting uh, and the burden of responsibility almost entirely onto partner forces from a security point of view and onto local elites, which are ultimately imagined as being responsible for the stability of their state, while at the same time supporting development, humanitarian act actions, and a reform of Sahelian states. However, this approach is rather low stake um, and incurs in problems of its own, and it ultimately, I believe, um, ends up being more ambitious than it is presented. So the core principle of European stabilization in the current conflict context in the Sahel is by, with, and through, which is um, a definition that, that comes from uh, American stabilization era. Um, and to put it in the words of a European diplomat, um, we do not want to win hearts and minds in the Sahel. Uh, we want to make the state more appealing to citizens. We want them to choose their own state rather than terrorist groups or criminality or migration, and, and I'm quoting. Basically, we should be on the sidelines. Um, this is the first and, according to our analysis in this report, the most dire difficulty European missions are facing within the region itself. Um, a stabilizing approach that prioritizes local ownership is effective only if consequences are seen on the ground. And currently, we don't see these consequences on the ground. Thank you, Delina. So you were talking a little bit about local population and how the local population in these states need to um, want to choose their own state and need to, to gain trust again in their own states. How, how do you think that this is happening or how is that developing right now, um, Sedik? Do you see that the population wants to, to um, build new states or, or, or to regain the trust in the state or, or what is the feeling like? Yes, as uh, Delina said, I think uh, the situation, before going to stabilization, we have to retablish the situation. Now, if you go in Sahel, uh, the group terrorists take power than the state. Uh, they are organized, they are progressing in Sahel area. First, they start by Mali, and after Mali, they go to Niger, to Burkina Faso. Now they are going to other country, Gulf of Guinea area, like uh, Bene, like uh, Togo, uh, like uh, Ghana. Uh, the terrorist group is progressing in Sahel and the other country of West Africa. And the population are a little bit disappointed because uh, they see the support coming from outside. They say, if you take the case of uh, many Sahelian uh, opinion, they say, we don't. We cannot understand country like uh, uh, I say, like France, uh, like uh, other country of New Europe, give us support, and we didn't succeed. There is a problem. We didn't succeed. The terrorist group is continuing to progress in, and we have partner who have the very strong army of the world, who have uh, uh, the very technology, the very new technology, but we didn't succeed. This kind of disappointment between population and the state and their own state first and the partner of their state. We have to look if we don't, if we want to succeed in the uh, fighting with, uh, against terrorists in Sahel. I think this is a challenge for us as Sahelian and is a challenge for our partners. If we want to, we cannot succeed without the support of population. Even if the military area, without all the support of population, we cannot succeed. 
Now we, there is a kind of uh, broke of the confidence between Sahelian population and their state, and between Sahelian population and the partner of Africa, of uh, Sahelia and other country. We have to, I think, we have to think uh, uh, to find a better way to put the partnership in a way of uh, succeed. If we didn't succeed, it will be a very, very big challenge for all the world, not only for Sahelia. 